Hi, I'm Matt. I'm a small farm production advisor from Grow Appalachia. And today we're gonna to be talking about tarping. Uh, tarping can also be called occultation because uh, you're blocking the light out. And what we're doing here is we're trying to keep the weeds from growing. Now, why would you wanna use a tarp? Well, you can use it kind of as a pause button, which is what we're doing here in between crops. We're laying the tarp down and that's preventing any weeds from growing. It's also blocking light from any weeds that are there and they'll die and the residue um, will stay on the ground and you're not stirring up any more weed seeds. So uh, it's ready to plant when you take the tarp off. Here it's summer, we're gonna leave it for probably two or three weeks. Uh, in the spring, early spring or in the winter, uh, you're gonna wanna leave it a little bit longer, maybe four to six weeks. Uh, you can use tarps also for killing a cover crop. So the timing isn't as critical then as if you were uh, crimping it or mowing it. So you can put your cover crop uh, in and then uh, knock it over, put the tarp on, and that's gonna kill your cover crop and any weed seeds that are there. You can also use it to, to uh, turn sod into a garden. It's gonna take a longer time for it to kill the perennial weeds that are there, but it should leave a nice, uh, a nice area that is free of weeds that you can then uh, turn into raised beds. So normally when we're tarping, we're using a silage tarp. And this is a UV treated tarp. It's white on one side, black on the other. And uh, it doesn't let light or water through. It provides a quicker kill, um, but it also uh, can be heavy when the water is on it. Sometimes people will use ground cover. And this is a more permeable uh, fabric type plastic. It actually lets the water through. It's a little bit lighter, but it comes in narrower pieces. Uh, so people have had success either way. It takes a little longer with the ground cover for it to actually kill the weeds because it's more breathable. It doesn't heat up as, as much under the ground cover. Um, the only other thing you need for a tarp is some sandbags or something to hold it down. Some kind of weight. You can use stones. You can bury the edges. Sandbags are nice because they're easy to move around. Um, you can also staple the edges, but then you end up putting holes in your tarp. So to prep this plot, we actually mowed it first because there was some significant weed cover. Um, if you want to prepare a seed bed that is going to be for direct seeding, then we would go ahead and turn over the beds, redu uh, remove the residue, and put down any amendments. Get it as close as we want it before we're actually direct seeding so that we don't have to disturb that soil after we take the tarp off. In this case, we mowed. There's going to be some residue there, but we're transplanting into it, so it's not a big deal uh, when we take the tarp off because we're not going to have to dig up the soil at all. Thanks for watching. To find out how occultation can fit into the big picture of weed control strategies on your farm, make sure you check out the other videos in this series, including the intro video called To Weed or Not to Weed. And please like and subscribe if this video was useful to you. Make sure to hit that little bell if you want to keep notified when we make new videos. And let us know what you think in the comments. Have you turned to the dark side? Do you use tarping and occultation on your farm? Let's keep this conversation going in the comments.